Now, what if you woke up and found that half of your hard-earned SEO traffic was gone? This isn't just theoretical. This actually happened and not too long ago. The number one ranked site for the search query mortgage calculator lost half of the traffic overnight. They had spent years and well over six figures to rank for this highly competitive search term. Now this traffic loss was not because of anything they did. They were still ranked number one. This happened around four years ago in mid 2020, and it serves as a preview of the impact of the AI overview on Google search. My name is Caleb Alku. I started an SEO agency in 2016 and grew it to six figures in just three years. Since then, I've also helped hundreds of others build their own SEO agency. Now, as I mentioned, in mid-2020, Google added a usable mortgage calculator directly to the search engine results page for the search term mortgage calculator. So before this, the sites that ranked on the first page for that search were enjoying around 2.5 million clicks per month, divided among the 10 websites. The number one site, they were getting around a million clicks a month if we use average click-through rate by position from Google search. But then Google dropped that calculator bomb. Today, Ahrefs data shows under 2 million total clicks, a significant drop in click volume, even though search volume has actually gone up. And that coveted number one spot, they're receiving just over 500,000 monthly clicks. That's a 50% traffic loss because Google added a mortgage calculator to its search engine results page. But enough of history. Fast forward to Google's recent introduction of AI overview in search. Now, Google claims that links featured in the AI overview are receiving more clicks than regular organic results. And here is what AI overview looks like for a simple search like what is SEO. All of those blue circles, those are the links. And most of them are going to the same URL or the same domain. But notice how the organic results are pushed down. This turns SEO essentially into a winner take all game. And yes, SEO is already a zero sum game. That means that anytime you gain traffic, someone else lost it. The number one position organically used to get around 40% of the clicks. That's a lot. But now that AI overview feature is getting even more than the 40%, while at the same time, overall click-through rates are dropping. So does that sound familiar? It's the mortgage calculator all over again, but much worse because it's happening across Google search. Now this is crucial, especially if you're targeting informational queries, queries that have what, when, where, or how in them. Click-through rates for that type of query have actually been dropping in recent years as Google has introduced a lot of features like featured snippets that keep people on the Google search results page. But the AI overview, it's not just continuing that trend of fewer and fewer clicks for informational type queries, it's accelerating that trend. Now I have personally seen informational query traffic drop by 30 to 60% for websites that are in the same rank position as they were before, solely because of an AI overview appeared above them. Now, this gets us into a bit of a paradox. Creating content to rank on Google is easier than ever before because we can use AI's help to create it. That means we can rank easier and faster than we used to be able to do. But at the same time, more and more traffic goes to fewer and fewer players. SEO used to be a zero sum game among the first 10 results, but now it's rapidly becoming a winner take all where only the site featured in the AI overview receives any significant traffic at all. Now this isn't to say it's time to give up. After all, as I mentioned, search volume on Google itself continues to go up. Instead, those top spots, especially the featured snippet and AI overview, are insanely valuable, even more valuable now than they used to be. So how do you go about getting them? I'm going to break down five approaches that we're taking at my seven-figure agency so SEO keeps working for us and keeps working for our clients. So the first of those, I'm gonna talk about EEAT. Now that is experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. Now I have an entire video focused exactly on building EEAT when your content is generated by AI. You can check it out here if you wanna see all those details. But the key takeaways from that video are twofold. First, make sure you have an about page and there is some critical information that needs to be on that about page to build EEAT. I'm gonna put a link in the description to my free school community and you can go and grab a checklist for your about page there. I won't break it down here. Now, besides just your about page, 
off page is also important and can be used to build EEAT. Doing that is easiest by creating and then obviously using social media profiles that have an exact match name to the website branding and post content relevant to your website. Also issue a press release that matches the business and website author's name and discusses the direct experience and expertise that author has in the field. Now beyond just building EEAT, your content needs to be comprehensive, multifaceted, and includes unique human perspectives and experiences. Now, all of this can be generated with AI as long as you use a human editor and you use the right prompts. And again, the ones that we use at my agency can be found at that school community link in the description. But also in your content, you need to include images, videos, and infographic. Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, as of the time of filming, September 2024, does an excellent job of generating a lot of this additional content for you as long as you're using good prompts. Okay, so the third way is to optimize your content for featured snippets and AI overviews. I have another YouTube video, and in that video, I give you the exact AI prompt that will allow AI to optimize your content for the current featured snippet. So I want you to check out that video for how to do that for your existing content that's already ranking pretty well. The fourth way, to adapt to this is to target long tail keywords that are less likely to have an AI overview. Admittedly, I'd anticipate that this is more of a short to medium term answer as eventually most queries will have an AI overview, but it's generally easier to rank for long tail keywords. And once you're ranked, it's going to be much easier to grab the featured snippet or be the one that's featured in the AI overview. Now to do this, leverage AI to help with your keyword research. AI is an excellent tool to identify long tail keywords that you can rank for and that are relevant for your website. So you should shift from just blindly targeting keywords at the high search volume to honing in on very specific keywords that have a high searcher intent. Claude 3.5 Sonnet and of course ChatGPT4 Omni can do an incredible job at identifying high intent keywords for your niche. You just have to give it a list of keywords and ask. And finally, the fifth way that we've adapted to the loss in traffic for informational queries is to simply not target informational queries. Now, I realized the potential impacts of AI on search several years ago. My agency at the time was focused on national SEO clients who were attempting to rank for informational queries. So once I had this realization, my agency made a massive shift toward focus on local SEO. Now, after all, AI has a good bit of development before it can replace a water heater at your home. So even though Google search is fundamentally different now versus just a few years ago, late 2021, local search is by and large unchanged. So the first thing we did at my agency to make this shift to local is, of course, focus on getting more local clients. So we want local businesses, local service providers as clients. Now we tried a variety of different methods, but we landed on a simple one that was scalable and worked for us, a Facebook ads campaign. In this video here, I'm going to break down the exact campaign we ran, the targeting, the ad creative, the landing page, everything completely transparently so you can copy me. And we use that to land 30 new plumbing clients in just 30 days.